Hi there. Welcome to Afro Daddy. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eminem, no. No, no, no. This is a family show. Isn't there anything else we could use, brother? Oh my god, we're back again. Backstreet Boys. Just forget about it. But yes, like they said, I am back and I'm so glad to be chatting to you guys again. I'm sorry it's been such a long time. That being said, I have had a couple of good reasons to stay away from Aphrodite for a bit. Number one is this guy. That's right, the kid 2.0 arrived a little bit ahead of schedule and he kind of threw a spanner in the works of it. And then shortly after my wife gave birth, we moved house. Now, you might know that psychologists say that the two most stressful things a couple can go through is having a baby and moving. And we did both of those things in the same month. Because we like drama, apparently. And then just three days after we moved, I had to go off to London for two weeks for work, which was amazing, but the timing could not be worse. And so the Aphrodite family has been spending the last couple of months getting the act together and literally getting their house in order. But in all that time that I've been gone, I've learned a whole bunch of new things about how to be a parent and a dad. So I've got a lot of great advice for you guys. Actually, I only have one piece of advice. And actually this advice isn't for dads or for parents. It's actually for the friends of people who've just had a baby. So maybe your friends have just had a baby and you're trying to work out what is the best thing I could do for them? How can I be the most helpful and loving friend possible? And here it is. The number one thing that you can do for people with new babies is bring them food. And trust me, I know this from personal experience. Because for three weeks after my wife gave birth, we had friends and family deliver supper to us every single night. And just knowing that I wouldn't have to cook for my family was a massive relief. But what should I cook for my friends? I hear you ask, somewhere in the distance, over there. Now I'm no chef, definitely not a chef. But I can tell you when you're cooking food for a couple with a new baby, you have to keep in mind that they're not gonna have all their hands free. So food that requires two hands to eat is out. So sorry guys, steak, bad idea. But burgers or pizzas is a great idea. In fact. Burgers and pizzas are always a good idea, even if you haven't just had a kid. Oh, I love burgers. I love pizza. Do we have some pizza in the fridge? No? Man. Something else to keep in mind when you're bringing food to that couple is that you can't use it as an excuse to spend time with them or the baby. You're literally dropping the food off and leaving, like this. Hey man, I, I brought you supper. Here you go. Thanks, man. Uh, do you want to come inside? No, I'm sure you're really busy and quite tired, so you don't have to host me, because I'm a good friend. Okay, so I'm not going to win any Academy Awards, but I hope you get the point. The fact is, new couples are generally quite tired and are trying to work out how their family works with this new person in it. So the last thing they're going to want is a guest. Last piece of advice, if you want to bring food to your family or friends who've just had a baby, Try to make a roster with a whole bunch of other people because if a whole bunch of you want to bring food on the same day, it will cause chaos. And that is stress that no couple wants. So you can go online and find websites that help you sort out who's going to bring food on what day and what they're going to make so you don't have them eating burgers and burgers and burgers every day. Although that would be awesome. So remember, just making food for your friends who've had a baby is a great way to show them that you love them and you appreciate them and might even get you on the potential godparent list. Hey, thank you so much for watching. So good to be back. Uh, leave your comments below about how people helped you if you just had a baby. As always, I'll see you soon. Aphrodite out.